Hello, in this video, we're going to integrate the sine of 2x all divided by 1 plus cosine squared x with respect to x. Let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. So let's start by using an identity on sine 2x. That way we can get rid of the 2x. So we can rewrite this integral as follows. Instead of sine 2x, we can write 2 sine x cosine x. This is all divided by 1 plus cosine squared x dx. Now we should think about substitutions. So one substitution we can make is u equals cosine x. If we do that, du is going to be negative sine x, so that should work. But we're still going to have a u upstairs, and then we can make another substitution after that to probably get it to work. However, if we let u be the entire bottom piece as follows, I think it's going to work out nicer. Watch this. Let u be equal to 1 plus cosine squared x. Now let's take the derivative of both sides. On the left-hand side, we have du. Here we use the chain rule. The derivative of 1 is 0, so that goes away. For the cosine squared x, think of it as cosine x quantity squared. It's the same thing. We bring down the 2, leave the inside untouched, so cosine x, subtract 1 from the exponent, and then times the derivative of the inside function. The inside function is cosine x, so its derivative is negative sine x. And then here we have the dx. So we have this negative here, so let's maybe multiply both sides by negative 1 so it comes over here. This is negative du. 2, I'm going to write it like this, sine x, cosine x, dx. And I did that because the goal is to make this look like what's in our integral. And here it is, it's exactly that. 2 sine x, cosine x, dx, that's exactly what we have here. So our integral now becomes negative du over and then u. And this is a familiar formula. This is equal to negative ln absolute value of u plus a constant. So this is equal to negative ln. And you can drop the absolute value because u is 1 plus cosine squared. So that's always going to be positive plus c. And that would be the answer to this indefinite integral. Hopefully, this video has taught you some math. If you have, make sure to check out more videos. Until next time, take care.